Uh, this this is the we are in this site that is called the Castle of Good Hope. The Castle of Good Hope, um, the uh, this Castle of Good Hope is not the original Castle of Good Hope that was started. The original Castle of Good Hope that was started by the men from Netherlands to come to South Africa for the first time from Netherlands that was called Jan van Ribbing. He built a Cape Castle further down on this side, this side that is called Woodstock and Salt River. But it was built from the clay and the wood, so it didn't last long. From, from 1666, from 1664, there were rumors of war between Netherlands and England. So, uh, the the commissioner uh, by Mr. Eastbrand, he ordered the military um, commander um, to build a castle. In 1666, they started this castle up until 1679. It took years to be built. So, so this castle has got uh, five points. If you can check them, you'll see inside. If you can check the, it's, it's built like a five-point thing. So it was built on on stones by the slaves from different countries. As you know that um, from they came from Netherlands in 1660, 1652. They came with a, a company that was called the DEIC Dutch East India Company. That was that company that 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 was. Um, uh, responsible for this as, as the company that came with a lot of slaves from different countries. I'm talking about um, parts of Africa um, and, uh, and also South Asia, your Malaysia and um, yeah so they came with a lot of slaves so that's those slaves that built this castle as you see yeah yeah so it was it was built by the so inside the castle there, is, there, there were dungeons, there were shops, um, there were a lot of, of uh, offices. Um, as you can see, even even up here, this this bell, this is the bell tower at the entrance. This this bell tower was built just to just to set the timings. The timings like noon morning if there was a breakfast or something that was very very important i mean to be discussed they would just uh, uh, ring this bell to uh, to call people in to discuss what was what what else was that was going to be discussed on uh, on on those days so this cape castle the original cape castle is the only colonial site that is still standing in south africa in the whole country up and even today this Cape Castle. So, in 2005, the government of South Africa turned this to be, to be a military place. So, as you can see, maybe when we entered, you saw somebody who's wearing military clothes. So, it, it's based. It, it, it's a military base where the soldiers come and stay here, and also it's very secure. And also, this castle, there is this street that we drive. That this street on that side, it's called Strand Street. So that's where the ocean was. That's why it was it was built on papers because it was on the shore. So that when when the enemy comes, so it they they, they would uh, attack an enemy. I'll just give you an, an example. There is a hill up there. That hill is called the Signal Hill. That hill is called the Signal Hill. Um, during the frontier wars, so on that hill they would. Uh, shot a gun when an enemy is coming on the sick on the on the table bay so on that hill so even today it's still remaining but there's no enemy today uh, every day at 12 o'clock they they shot the gun every day at 12 o'clock those who know that they are going to have lunch at one o'clock or 12 o'clock they know that they are one hour away from the from from their lunch so it, it, it's still going on the gun on the on the on the signal hill. That's why it's called the signal hill. So apparently, 
so we will we'll go inside and see and 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 and, and see what 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 is going or, or how the building is and then the paint inside there's a significance on the paint yellow paint it represents the heat and the sun because there were slaves that were kept inside here so that it, there's there's a lot of culture that 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 is being kept um, in this and the, the legacy of of, 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 of of the of the history I'm sorry the, the slaves you're talking about uh, yes you're talking Indian slaves they were, they, they were because when they came with a lot of slaves they were uh, slaves from Indonesia, Malaysia, and then from other parts of Africa. I'm talking about um, Mozambique, um, on the coastline. I'm talking about the, the, the slaves that they, that they they were also those are the ones that were that that built this and they were building this in chains. They were tied up in, on the here on, on the on the. They were walking like this yeah. while they yeah. And you you said. Dutch East Indian Company, right? Yeah. That's what the, all they were known for was yes. enslaving and kidnapping people. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. When well, you said that, we—I mean, we already knew. But when yeah. you said that, yeah. yeah. So the so the African slaves that they bought were for were they from Southern Africa or did they go up to East West or you had mentioned Mozambique? The, the, because when 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 the Dutch came, they were on their way. So they were they they were they they were taking the slaves. But not from the southern hemisphere. Okay. Not from the southern hemisphere. From other parts of Africa, on the on the east and and the east. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm really not clear because when you said that they gathered the enslaved Africans and brought them here, <coughs> were they on their way to take them to another destination from here, or they were just brought here to do to build this? To build this. I'm no, no. Here. Initially, initially okay. they took the slaves right. from all of the, of the countries that I'm talking about. Right. When they came to the Cape of Good Hope, at the Cape Point, at the most western tip of Africa, of of, of the continent, okay. south on the south, here from here it's about one and a half hour to drive. Mm. So they yeah. saw a refreshment station. So, So they saw a refreshment station having those slaves. So they came into inside and then they, they explored the city at first and then they drove away the people that were originally staying here, that were the Koi and the Sen. They drove them on the west coast, that is on the west coast of Nami west coast of Namibia and Northern Cape. So they they occupied the land. That's how it started. <coughs> so having those, having, having, having those slaves, mm -hmm. so that's how they started. Okay. Not purposely they came with the slaves here, okay. but they, ex they, they were on their way to India. And then oh, they had a refreshment station at the Cape of Kudo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everywhere so they stopped. They every, 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 everything that was going there. Yes, yes. on the coast. Okay. Yes. They picked up people yes. along not, the way. Not, not people said they were coming here, okay. but they were on their way. Okay. But they saw a refreshment station. Mm -hmm. And then ah. they. Yes. And, the, so and, 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 and if you go and if you go south to the Cape of Good Hope, the most western tip of the continent, you would see that it's, it's flat and with rocks. They saw a good place to, I mean, to explore. And then they were tempted to come in. Yes, in 1652, 6th of April, that's, that, 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 that's when they started to come. On the 6th of April, 1652. Yes. Any question? Yes. What's the significance of the anchor? What's the anchor? Of that anchor, I'm not sure about it. It might have been from, from the ships. Yeah, it might have been from the, from, from the ships. Because the anchor is controlling the ship from running away from the... Yeah. 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 So, so, so also, also the other thing that was very bad that I, I want to talk about, about this, the slavery. So there is a place inside that is called the dungeon. When, 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 they were, when they, people would go to court, they would be sentenced. Others would be guillotined. Others would be, would be sentenced maybe four years. 
when they were sentenced for years, they would stay in the dungeon. Maybe for, for maybe, I can say maybe 18 months without seeing the sun. Stay there in the dungeon. Everything you do there in the dungeon. We can go in the dungeon. We will just go in. Everything, you don't see the sun. When, when the day of judgment, maybe you'll come, then you'll be guillotined in front of the people. Wow. <coughs> although, although, although it's a, although it's a, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a monumental site, but there is, yeah. History is history. History is history. And it's called Good Hope. For what reason? Great question. Right, right, right. A good hope. Uh, let, let, let me come back to the good hope word. Let me come back to the good, good hope word. When the, when, when the Portuguese came in, in, in 1488, they came in winter on their first trip, on their way to, to, to Mozambique. When they passed in winter, it was windy, they couldn't settle at the Cape of Manu. They called it the, the Cape of Storms. So on their second trip, when they came, it was in summer. And then it was nice, and then they called it the Cape of Good Hope. So that's how the name comes from. Yeah. yeah. Almost like Good Friday. Nothing good happens. Yeah, on Good Bob, how are you, sir? I'm fine, you sir. I'm fine. Thank you. He says you can pick it too, so we're Welcome to the Cast of Good Hope. So, this is the schedule Monday to Sunday, 9 to 5. All right. So, time we're about to start this uh, presentation inside, and that was our tour guide, Wahutu. Literally, just uh, giving us a breakdown and our tour members' excellent questions. So, that's what we do, family. We do this incredible Wutu culture journey to educate you about history and culture. The journey continues. <laughs>